every time we want to find a limit, we don't want to create a table and estimate it. That's both slow and sloppy. In this video, we'll state some elementary limit finding rules. And then in later videos, we will state further limit finding rules. We'll start with the basics. The limit as x approaches c of a constant function is always the constant. It doesn't matter what C is. So for example, the limit as X approaches two of the constant function five is five. And the limit as X approaches negative three of the constant function five is five. And in fact, the limit as X approaches anything of the constant function five is five. Second rule. The limit as X approaches C of the identity function X is a C. So for example, the limit as X approaches four of the identity function X equals four. And let's illustrate this. Let's take a quick look at Desmos. When you give it a little thought, x equals f of x. So the statement that as x gets closer to 4, f of x gets closer to 4. Little rounding error there is really intuitive. If x and f of x are the same thing. Of course, they're both approaching four. Rule three is going to take a little longer to state. Suppose you have two limits, or maybe I should rather say two functions. And both of these functions have a limit as X approaches C. So this C and this C are the same. Then the limit of a sum or a difference of these functions is the sum or the difference of the limits. Let's see how we can use this rule in an example. The limit as X approaches four of X minus five. So what this rule says is that if we have the limit of subtract we can break it up as the difference of limits. The limit as X approaches four of X 
is four. That's this second rule. And the Metasex approaches four of five is five. That's this first rule. So this limit is negative one. One more rule in this video, although we'll pick right back up with rule five in the next. If a limit exists and we have any constant k, then the limit of k times the function is k times the limit of the function. So for example, the limit as x approaches three of four times x. What this rule is saying is that you can take a constant and move it to the front of the limit this is four times the limit as x approaches three of x. This limit we know, rule two, the limit as x approaches three of x is just three. So our limit is 12. Incidentally, as far as what you need to know, you need to know all of these rules. You shouldn't be committing this numbering to memory. Like you don't need to know that I've called this rule, rule four, you just need to know this rule and be able to use it.